Three quarters over Princess Jasmine Halushi down on the inside. Keldick was it up running fourth nearing the corner. A length away, Saxonic Jack Knight Prowlers off the bridle being hunted along. And Bjorn de Love brought up the tail. They're about to sweep into the home straight where Leventi, the former Victorian, led the way. Pike, though, about to lay down the gauntlet with Princess Jasmine and a length and a half to Keldick Wizard, followed by Halushi. Leventi headed by Princess Jasmine, 200 from home. Two lengths, Keldick Wizard, but Princess Jasmine's off and gone. Pike goes. Gives her a little reminder. She draws away Princess Jasmine. All interest in the miners. Princess Jasmine won it easily. Second, Bjorn to Love coming down the outside from the back late. Might have grabbed it just in front of Leventi, Celtic Wizard and Halushi. And then a gap in the field to Saxonic Jack. And the last to greet the judge, Knight Prowler. Yeah. You're certainly right there, Darren. Breeding looking very good. And she's starting to run to that breeding now as well, isn't she, Jace? Yeah, she has got... Uh, look, she's probably surprised me a little bit in the last couple of runs. She's... Uh, She's really attacked the line nice, so it's good. So it's uh, good for the owners and, um, yeah. The small fields, they can always throw up a bit of a curveball, and today you found yourself a lot closer to the speed in, in recent times as well, but again, she was able to adapt. Yeah, well, um, that's only thing I said to Willie before the race. I said uh, with the, it, it, they should go slow. Um, you're going to have to be right there on the corner um, if they uh, make it a sit and sprint. So... Um, and he summed it up well. The sit and sprint really starting to suit her as well, isn't it? With that turn of foot, has uh, really shone the last two starts. Yeah, she's. It's yeah. I don't know what the difference is, but she's just seemed to. Um, um, yeah, maybe the eighteen hundred, um, and just yeah, just got in that purple patch has suited her. When you can't put your finger on any changes, does a lot of it just come down to the mental state, just a confidence getting that first win? And we know that with a lot of mares, once they get one, they normally get two or three. I have seen it before where they've struggled and, you know, they've been inconsistent and then they normally put a uh, couple together. So, yeah, I hope that's the case and I uh, hope she can get a couple more. One for one today, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. There's Jason Miller. Jockey now, William Pike. And, Pike, uh, you were just saying to the owners there, it's not how you expected the race to, to be, but at the end of the day, that's the result you would have wanted. Yeah, it's always the result that you want. Um, I thought I'd be back and coming with a run, but... Uh, she jumped very well, and uh, I think one of the other horses I had penciled in to go forward didn't. So by default, I landed there, and it was probably, you know, the conditions that have shown today has probably worked in their favour. Can be a concern, can't it, at times, just uh, with these small fields that the tactics change immensely? They do, so I uh, just have to roll with it and deal with what you got. I knew I had a fit horse. She's had enough runs and things like that, so... Wouldn't have been a real excuse if it didn't work, but uh, it, it, we don't have to worry about excuses today. You mentioned about knowing what you had. You mentioned on Sport FM this morning that you thought this was your best chance today. You're just starting to get a bit of confidence in what she's, she's bringing to the table with that turn of foot? Yeah, that's right. Uh, she did it last start, and we always thought she could, but uh, you know, you've always got to see it again, and she's come here today and, and done it again, so you, know, you feel a little more confident with her each time. Really nice win, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. There's William Pike making it back-to-back -back victories for Princess Jasmine.